Prophet Isaac was the son of Abraham and his wife, Sarah. He was born when his parents were very old, and they believed it was a miracle bestowed upon them by God. Isaac grew up in a household that was devoted to God, and he learned to love and trust Him as he grew. When Isaac was a young man, God tested Abraham's faith by instructing him to sacrifice his beloved son on Mount Moriah. Abraham was conflicted but ultimately obeyed God's command. Isaac willingly submitted to his father's order and carried the wood on his own back to the place of sacrifice, not knowing that he was to be the sacrifice. God, pleased with Abraham's obedience, stopped him from sacrificing Isaac and replaced him with a ram, which Abraham then offered as a sacrifice instead. After the incident, Isaac continued to live in obedience to God, and he later became the father of Jacob and Esau. Isaac's life is a testament of faith and the importance of trust in God. He was willing to follow him no matter where he led him and endured difficult circumstances because of his faith. His story is an example of how we should trust in God's plan and remain faithful to him, no matter what. The following verses in the Quran mention the Prophet Ishak peace be upon him. Surah Nisa, Women, Ayah, verse, 163-165. We have inspired you, as we had inspired Noah and the prophets after him. And we inspired Abraham, and Ishmael, and Isaac, and Jacob, and the patriarchs, and Jesus, and Job, and Jonah, and Aaron, and Solomon. And we gave David the Psalms. Some messengers we have already told you about, while some messengers we have not told you about. And God spoke to Moses directly. Messengers delivering good news, and bringing warnings, so that people may have no excuse before God after the coming of the messengers. God is powerful and wise. Surah al-Baqarah, Cow, Ayah, verse, 132-138. And Abraham exhorted his sons, and Jacob, O my sons, God has chosen this religion for you, so do not die unless you have submitted. Or were you witnesses when death approached Jacob, and he said to his sons, What will you worship after me? They said, We will worship your God, and the God of your fathers, Abraham, Ishmael, and Isaac, one God, and to him we submit. That was a community that has passed, for them is what they have earned, and for you is what you have earned, and you will not be questioned about what they used to do. And they say, Be Jews or Christians, and you will be guided. Say, rather, the religion of Abraham, the monotheist, he was not an idolater. Say, we believe in God, and in what was revealed to us, and in what was revealed to Abraham, and Ishmael, and Isaac, and Jacob, and the patriarchs, and in what was given to Moses and Jesus, and in what was given to the prophets, from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them, and to him we surrender. If they believe in the same as you have believed in, then they have been guided but if they turn away, then they are in schism. God will protect you against them, for He is the hearer, the knower. God's coloring. And who gives better coloring than God? And we are devoted to Him. Surah al-Imran, the family of Imran, Ayah, verse, 84-85. Say, we believe in God, and in what was revealed to us, and in what was revealed to Abraham, and Ishmael, and Isaac, and Jacob, and the patriarchs, and in what was given to Moses, and Jesus, and the prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them, and to Him we submit. Whoever seeks other than Islam as a religion, it will not be accepted from Him, and in the hereafter He will be among the losers. Surah Safat, Aligners, Ayah, verse, 111-113. He was one of our believing servants. And we gave Him good news of Isaac, a prophet, one of the righteous. And we blessed him, and Isaac. But among their descendants are some who are righteous, and some who are clearly unjust to themselves.